Hi friends, how you doing? It is 6.30 in the morning, I think. What time is it? Yep, 6.45. I went to bed at two, or I fell asleep at two. So it's pretty early for me to be up and going and ready. But we are going to get the car packed up. A lot of what we need to put up in the car luggage rack is left until this morning. It has like my bathroom stuff in it. So I'm gonna get downstairs and pack up the car real quick and then wake up the kids. There's no point waking kids up until you have to actually be gone. So I think I heard one kid awake. But I am done with my makeup. I'm gonna put it into our suitcases down here and then we're gonna get going. This bag here is ready to go now so it can go out. Okay, then I've got my pile here on my pillow. Stuff I need to remember to take down. My headphones, my charging cord, my eye mask. I was just at the point in my day this morning where I would have put this on. And I was like, nope, I can't go back to sleep. <laughs> so we're going to get this stuff and take it down as well. I guess I need glasses too. I already got melatonin. My medicine is right here because I already packed it. Okay, we're putting everything in the car. We're doing pretty good so far, wouldn't you say? Yeah, it was. So I had a little epiphany last night and I realized I could put all those buns down in the lower compartment and then shut it. So that worked out really good and now this whole upper space is free for backpacks, electronics. Also, Chels, can you <laughs> can you go grab my little sun visor? We can put it across this stuff so it doesn't get hot. And yourself. Not to guard not to block the window, but like across this stuff. We'll see. Maybe when it gets hot we will. So my travel bag does not need to be up front. It has my computer, all of my electronics, my GoPro, my drone, all that kind of stuff. But it can stay back here. I actually put a pair of socks. I like socks on in the car sometimes. But I've got my car bag right here. Chelsea, yeah. we're going to have to get more Meclizine, but I've got enough also, for part of a dose for you today. Okay, Chelsea and Ashley, you got your little nests back there. She has her nest, I have. You're all good? Interesting spot, but yeah. yeah. Don't put the garbage bag up there because dad, it'll be in his view. Put it in front of the seat, like in front of this seat right here. Yeah. It'll be fine right here. No, it won't. No, it won't. Okay, that's fine. It's a garbage bag. She's setting up a garbage bag. I already have it. All right. Trash. You already have a trash. Yeah. Luckily, our kids are good travelers, whether we're flying or driving. Right, girls? Well, They're good travelers. Hawaii. What? I wasn't even yeah, she she was born flying, quite literally, in my belly, being ready to f travel. So, and we realized she's never been to a luau. Chelsea doesn't remember a luau, so that is definitely going to be the excursion that we do when we go back to Hawaii. All right, we are on the road, but as you can see, Jason's back there. Kaylee's taking a turn driving right off the bat. About 10 hours to go. Nine and, well, nine or 10. Just depends on how fast we can go and how quickly we can get our stops done. Like when we stop for gas, get food, get back on the road. If we can do that quickly, then we should be able to keep moving along pretty fast. So, it's a beautiful day. Let me take your garbage. Stop for some of us to get some breakfast. A little hash brown moment. And we're ready to go. There is only one of you, only one of me There's a million of those who won't let us be But they're not gonna, not gonna see me bleed Cause baby I got you, 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 you I've been beaten to the ground, dragged across the dirt I've been scared to live cause some people never learn But they're not gonna, not gonna watch me burn Cause baby I got you, you, you Okay, made our first pit stop um, after we stopped to let Jason drive. Kaylee did a great job. She went like, what, two hours, three hours? Yeah. It's 11 o'clock right now. We're breaking out the uh, blueberries, right? Yeah. Everyone kind of slept pretty good. Um, yeah, I think they would have stayed sleep longer. For the first part of the morning, and I think we'll be awake for a little while now, but we don't need like lunch lunch, right? No, we'll just munch on the snacks for a little while and then we'll stop and get lunch. Okay, 
Okay. <laughs> Is that a face cover up right there, Kaylee? Um, we are stopping at our typical Wendy's in La Grande, Oregon. We are creatures of habit. We get hungry right at about the same time every time. Is my shirt on backwards? <laughs> no, <laughs> it's not. Okay, I have to. It was like hiked up to here because I was kind of. Anyway. What? Yep, we go at the same time, the same pace, dad goes the same speed limit, like, so we have Wendy's here, and then, the fun thing is, my sister just texted me, and she's like, you know what, if your timing might be that you could stop by at my house in Idaho um, for dinner, and I was like, yeah, but you guys are packing up to, like, leave on vacation too, and I just found out she gets to move in with her new husband, I don't know what their custody agreement shift has done and changed, but I will find out that soon. But she gets to move in with him. There, like, just so you know, that there's like. Um, no, oh, I don't know. But anyway, she invited us to dinner, and so she's gonna get a barbecue all ready to go for us. And so we're about four hours away from her. Um, but we'll stop. It'll be about five hours by the time we. Oh my gosh, we're here by the time we actually get our food here at Wendy's. Oh, yeah. And uh, then we'll go and have dinner with her and hang out with them for a little while and then our hotel will be about another hour and a half or two. Go inside? Should we go inside? Yeah, okay. let's go inside. Um, but then we'll just be able to like play and hang out and then just get to our hotel a little bit later and be tired and ready to go to bed because we have to get up early again tomorrow morning to go to the lake. So I think we're gonna go in and eat, or at least in to get it. Yeah. Just so we can stretch our legs, and then we'll get back on the road. Okay, we decided to come in to eat so we could play a game and get the mess out here, and then we're gonna hop in the car, right? See, now we have a challenge of who gets to drive, because Kaylee wants to drive and you're enjoying it. We're going into the next little canyons as we get over to next town, Ontario. I'm enjoying driving. Yep. All right. I have never slept as much as I have on this trip. <laughs> like on a road trip, I haven't slept, slept this much. I've been listening to my book, but I just fell asleep again just sitting here. So the fans you didn't get as much. Well. The fans? At where? At oh. home? I don't know about that. I'm not going to sacrifice being hot. Well, no, I just, I don't know. I don't know. I think maybe fans keep us from sleeping as well. At home. I just, I didn't get any sleep last night. That's why I'm tired today. But we are headed over to my sister's house. It'll be fun to like go and hang out with her, I think her husband. It's fun to say that again. Um, I think he might have to work late. I'm not sure if he's gonna make it home. But uh, it'll be fun to see her and the kids, so. It'll be nice to get out and stretch. We still have two hours to our hotel, but this breaks it up and gives us something to do for a little bit, and then... Then I'm driving the... You want to drive to the hotel? I get a choice. <laughs> <laughs> Katie just wants to be up, up front. All right, we had dinner with my sister. She made grilled chicken on the barbecue with a really good salad and lots of fruit. You guys had a good time? Continue to SH15. Um, and then she gave us creamies for dessert, which is really fun. Um, but we're gonna head to our hotel. It is 8:30. Sorry, you're probably getting a lot of wind from the AC. It's like it was 100 degrees. Now it's 90. If so we're all very hot. Turn right to merge onto I-84 East towards Burley. Okay, so we have an hour and a half drive to get to our hotel in Pocatello, Idaho. And the only reason why we're staying there is because it's the next biggest town before we go to Bear Lake. We all need to move the squish ball over. Yeah, she has to be able to see out the back window, okay? Uh, give it to me here all. So, there's a lot of flat farmland here. That's where my sister lives, it's just right over there. Just a lot of flat farmland. She likes to live um, where it's not busy. <laughs> so, she loves here. She's moving into her husband's house right now. So, it's kind of fun. So just 
just to give you guys an idea. Oh, no, hang on. Okay, so I just want to show you what path we're on right now and what we normally do. We're coming across southern Idaho right now, and normally we turn, oh, my phone just wants to keep, like, giving me directions. Hang on. Okay, so normally we follow this road here to here, and then we jut down here, and we go over to Logan. That's where I'm from in northern Utah, but <laughs> my phone. Instead, we're not going to go down here. We're going to go up here and stay the night and then head over to the lake, which is right down here, and it borders Idaho and Utah. So we're just going to go stay the night here. Sorry, it's pumpy. We're going to stay the night here, and then it's an hour and a half drive down to the lake in the morning. got to our room we've got two beds here me and Jason will sleep here Kaylee and Abby are going to sleep here cute little desk but I don't think I'm gonna edit tonight there's a little fridge which actually we should put the freezer packs Abby can you put the freezer packs in the freezer and then the rest of that can just go into the fridge and then over here we have a cute little like second like, little nook and Chelsea and Ashley have their little pull-out bed here. And then the bathroom is <laughs> the bathroom is over here. Let's see here. Shower right there. I don't think anyone needs to shower tonight, do we? She said she wanted to. Oh, you wanted to, didn't she you? Did. Oh, you want to? Okay. What's up there? Super hot. Extra blankets. Oh. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, that goes on there. Yep. Question. <laughs> it's questionable. What's questionable, Chels? Dad's driving. driving. What did you have to say about Kaylee? Kaylee, what did you have to say about no, Dad's driving? Me. No, yeah, no, it was, no, it was me. me that she's a better driver. <laughs> and why are you a better driver on the highway? Signal. He doesn't signal. I signal. Well, you were no, right. you when don't. Cars around me, I signal. When no one's around me, I don't signal. <laughs> So you don't I, signal. Yeah. If a tree when you're falls in the, in the forest, does it make a sound? <laughs> if you make a turn a signal and there's no one to see it, does it really, is it on? Is no, it legal? Not. Is it not? If no one's there to see it. In the car, um, I think Love it was Kaylee. She's like, I need to teach him some lessons on signaling. Yes. <laughs> I am glad you signal. But it is nice to have an extra driver. She enjoyed driving tonight, so. This is where my heart is Oh, you know it's true No matter where I go I'm coming home to you